Oxford Healthcare, the long-standing, dependable sunshine of healthcare. Helping families in times of need with around-the-clock service, guiding you every step along the way. We are here to keep your loved ones safe, independent, and happy in the comforts of their own home. My voice is my password. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You want to start in here? Sure. Right. I do want to say that we need to make sure that we always wear our Oxford ID badge. This has your picture, your member number, as well as your name. That way your members can recognize you, especially if it's a new member, and they know that you are here from Oxford. Would it be easier for you if I just gave you a key to the house and you can just come and and that is so sweet of you, Miss Marianne, but we are not allowed at Oxford or any other company to carry keys to your home. Okay. Well, let's go through your plan. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm thinking today, because we don't have meals today, but we're going to do, I'm going to clean the bathroom, I'm going to strip your bed and do that laundry, um, I'm going to clean the kitchen and the dishes, and then I'll do your floors for you in the rooms. Okay? Does that sound right? Yes. Can you clean the litter box for me today? Well, that's another thing we're not allowed to do. I'm sorry. Is your daughter coming? Or will she be here this weekend? Yes. Okay, maybe she will help you with that litter box and we'll get that done. Okay. All right, thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Right. Is there anything else you can think of that might be on the plan that we're missing? Not right this minute. Oh, okay. I do. I'll let you know. All right, sounds good. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. bed. I'm going to wash her comforter as well as her sheets and usually we like to do that in two separate loads. So I'm going to go ahead and start the comforter in the washer right now. Okay, the detergent goes in here. This is going to be a small to medium load. I would say medium, so I'm going to fill it halfway. Okay. Okay, we're going to push power. Turn it so it lights up to heavy duty, and then we will make sure that the water is correct, it is on high spin, it's heavy, and we're going to just push start. And one rule of thumb is to never place a person's pillows on the floor, so I like to put them on the table over to the side. whenever you're cleaning out the bedside commode that you're very careful not to let anything splash on you. A lot of them have lids, but more than not, they do not have lids. So you just lift the toilet seat up, and there's the other one. Sometimes they have handles, sometimes they don't, but you want to try to get it out gingerly and then carry it nicely to the restroom. And then, of course, glove off and wash my hands. Oh, Miss Marianne, I was just noticing on your plan that we also have bath today. Were you wanting to go ahead and get the bath done today? Yes, okay. I would like that. Okay, are you ready now? Yes. Okay, all right, let's do that, and then I'll get your bathroom cleaned. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the water adjusted. I think that's exactly the way you like it. Let me grab your towels out of here. Okay, now is the time that Miss Marianne would have undressed so that we could get into the tub. Good job. I'm right here, just lean on me. There you go. Oh, thank you. I'll get you your washcloth. All right. Now we're going to show Miss Marianne how we get out of the tub. Okay, let me have your left leg first. Let's see your right leg. There we go. All right. One, two, three, and up. Oh, there we Pizza. go. You are so good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move all Marianne's stuff over to the side. And clean one whole side. Once again, making sure to get the top. Okay, and then wipe out the sink itself. Nice and clean. spray down the shower and the shower chair. This is multi-purpose antibacterial cleaner and then I'm going to scrub the tub and the shower chair as well. Okay, proper body mechanics is to stay heart to part, closest to the part as possible. Okay, and then I'm going to scrub all the way around the tub. Okay, we're all disinfected. Okay, um, whenever we clean the floors, I always make sure to remove the rugs. I usually take the rugs outside and shake them, or if they're really soiled, I'm able to either vacuum them, or I can even put them in the washer. It's not good to dry rugs that have the plastic backing, such as these type of rugs. I'm going to be cleaning your countertops and I'm going to clean your stove and all of your other appliances, okay? okay I got to put my gloves on first though. Marion likes her counters clean with Windex, so that's what we're going to be using. And she keeps her cleaners down here. And over here, it's really important to make sure that you get underneath anything that is on the counter. And you place them back exactly the way that she had them. I'm not going to move the coffee pot because it's on and hot. I will wipe around it though. Here we go. Now we're going to move to the other counter. Okay, I'm going to be cleaning the stove. I'm going to be removing the grates. If these were really dirty, I would kick them to the sink and I would scrub them. But they're not, so we're going to move them over to the side and then wipe out all of the wells just to be on the safe side because crumbs do get in there as well as food particles that are bigger than crumbs, and those things can catch fire. With an electric stove, the coils actually pull out, and you can clean in the wells that way. All right, I'm gonna just replace these. Okay, change the rag and get it to the countertops. Move these items out of the way, so I get behind them and all around them, just like the other counters. Once a month, I usually wash this with the other dishes. Okay, now the fronts of the appliances.
Okay, on to the next chore. Let me glove off and wash my hands. So I'm gonna make the bed now. Marianne, does your um, elastic go at the top and the foot or does it go on the sides? Okay, thank you. To make sure we get it all underneath the corners. And smooth it out. Make sure to double check. Okay, making sure it's as even as possible. No wrinkles because sometimes wrinkles can make skin break down. Okay, and we do corners. Now you can put your leg here to hold it. Look under, nice and tight. Look at that corner. Okay, put the blanket on. First, I'm gonna start with the table. Very unlikes everything cleaned with Windex, except for the wood is gonna be cleaned with plug. I've already clipped this, so I'm gonna clean the TV. Okay, and I make sure to get all the fronts of the drawers and everything. Time to vacuum Marianne's floors. I want to show you how we do the vacuuming. When we do, we don't do this. Okay, we actually need to keep in a good alignment, walking with the vacuum, turning with the vacuum, and walking back with the vacuum. Never walk backwards, always turn again, and walk forward. Making sure to get underneath all of the cabinets and up against the baseboard and underneath the appliances. And dumping it in the trash. Okay, I've filled up my mop bucket with hot water, really as hot as I can stand so that it's sanitary and will clean better. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit. Usually the rule of thumb is to pour a cap full. Let's get mopping. Squeeze it out and mop. Making sure again to get underneath all the cabinets. Make sure we don't do too many crazy repetitive movements with our back. We're walking with the mop, we're going with it, we're not twisting. I think I'm going to rinse the mop out since I finished mopping. Marianne, I just mopped the kitchen floor, so don't walk in here now. Okay, before I clean the toilets, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this water out. Okay, I've washed my hands and changed my gloves. Now I'm going to spray and disinfect and clean the toilet as well as around the outside of the toilet, and then the toilet bowl will be last. Making sure to get all sides, all areas, including the flush handle. And make sure to get all down in here. this out then I'm going to spray the cleaner and clean it out with the toilet bowl brush. Okay before I leave for the day and clock out I'm going to go ahead and take all the trash out of every room that I've been in. I've already put the bathroom trash in the trash can and the other living room trash can in the trash bag here. So I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to replace all bags with fresh clean bags. Okay, it looks like we finished everything. Um, I also wrote my clock in and clock out on the member record, which is on your refrigerator. Thank you. And so I need to go ahead and clock out with Sand Data. Okay. At Sandtrax, my voice is my password. Okay, I got it. All right, I will see you then again on Monday. All right. Bye.
Thanks all right. for all you do, Rachel. No. I appreciate it. Absolutely. It's so much of a pleasure to come and see you every time. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in with us. Make sure you catch our other educational videos on our YouTube channel. And remember, in a time of need, Oxford Healthcare is a helping hand indeed.